Hey guys, what's going on? Kai here with The Path of Life, coming at you with another video today. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've released a video. Went to a shooting competition this last week, uh, and I was trying to make a video for you. I had a camera strapped up on my ear protection, and I bumped my head after the last time that I reached into my vehicle to grab the last bag of gear, and, uh, and it moved that camera angle, so this is what I ended up getting. Got here. Engage R1 through 8 from position 1. One hit on each, then move from position 2. Position, position two, 2 is, is shooting through, through the tunnel. The Engage BCC with two, two hits. hits. And then shooting R1 through 8 again, not through the tunnel. Are you ready? Stand by. So yeah, a bunch of garbage. Basically, I didn't feel it necessary to post it, but uh, it is what it is. We'll get you on the next competition for sure. A couple of shout outs before I get going too far into this video here. The Canic Fanatic Forum. Talk about a platform for having some good conversation with some great people on some awesome guns. If you shoot a Canic like I do, Go to the Canic Fanatic Forum, start the conversation there, and join up with uh, with everybody else that's already talking about these guns. Also, if you're thinking about getting a Canic, then go to the Canic Fanatic Forum. Everything, including problems that people are having, solutions to those problems, modifications, uh, options for these guns, all on there. Uh, they're not a sponsor of this video, but... I feel it necessary to shout them out as I get a lot of cool ideas from them. Next people I want to shout out, Smoky Mountain Concealment, the maker of my competition holster. If you haven't seen the initial unboxing and first thoughts review of this holster, then check that video out. Link up here. Click on that. Also, all the websites to the Kinnick Fanatic Forum, the Facebook group, as well as Smoky Mountain Concealment down in the description. So check that stuff out. Okay, now as you guys know, I really like to shoot, and I like to shoot steel. Uh, I have been upping my collection of steel targets and steel target accessories for a while now. The first steel targets that I got are a set of 10 inch steel plates. And this is part of a portable steel plate rack system, 10 inch steel plates, six of them that can go along a two by four with some included brackets. If you haven't seen my video for these, link up here. Also link in the description for where you can pick these up. Now, I wanted to see how modular this system could be and how I could best create different courses of fire using what I have. So what I wanted to be able to do is set these up independently of each other instead of just along a, uh, a, a plate rack. So I went to the Google machines, was trying to find the best way to mount these plates individually, and I found this. So this right here, this uh, AR500 steel uh, square tubing, a carriage bolt, this spring, the washers, and these set bolts all just attach right onto the existing plate, allow it to swing, and that spring gives it a little bit of a little bit of movement for the impacts. So this whole apparatus here is put out by a company called Dyer Systems, which is based out of New York. There's a link to this product down in the description. Check that out. Um, and this just mounts onto a T-post, okay? So you just buy a T-post, which I picked up four of them because I picked up four of these uh, hangers here. So T-posts down at the local hardware store here are $3.49 each. So I had to get four of those. So I spent, you know, less than 20 bucks on the posts. You just bang, bang those straight into the ground, set this on there, and then these set screws here help you to keep it all aligned and on there sturdy. Um, 
And this whole setup, this whole apparatus here, was $15.95 from Dire Systems. $15.95. So between the four that I bought and the four T posts, I spent like 75 bucks or something like that. And that's just over 75 bucks. And I have the ability to now have four independent uh, plate racks. And I could still hang the other two on the two by four. Well, I'd have to pick up another two by four because this happened. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good time. But I could hang two of the plates on the 2x4. I could hang them really close together to have two close together targets. I could hang one on each end and get them eight feet apart from each other. So basically this gives me a lot of ability to create whatever type of firing stage I want and I can go through it from there. So that being said, I have the Canik, my eyes and ears, my GoPro, my plates, and the AR with the CMMG 22 conversion kit in it, loaded up and ready to head out to the desert on this fine Sunday afternoon. And we are gonna test these out. Fun fact is that my mom is coming with me out into the desert today. And she doesn't go shooting very often, um, but she's really excited to test out these plates too. So we'll see what she thinks. <laughs> what up, what up? We just hit the desert. Um, I've got the plates with the brackets, and I've got the T-posts, so I'm gonna get these things set up, see how easy they are. test these bad boys out so first so this is gonna be my stop plate and I'm gonna be required to hit it twice so I'm painting this one red so that I know so I'm gonna engage left and then hit this one here from the left these two and then these three I have to hit this one last I forgot my timer. Uh -oh. Yeah. Shoot. Well, it won't be a race. Yeah, well, accurate. That's, that's the whole point. Let's just shoot them all one apiece. See how we do. Clean run. That's clean. Go. So yeah, we have them set up here. Um, shot maybe. 100, 100 rounds of 9mm and uh, like 20 rounds of 22 into them so far. And they're holding up really good. Um, like a little bit of adjustment on the bolts that I have to do every now and again. They'll, they'll turn sideways or something. And then we've got them staked down into a sand bottom. So they might end up like trying to fall over here in a little bit. We're going to back up. We were at uh, 10 yards. We're going to back up to like 15 or 20 yards and go for it some more and uh, see what we can't do with these things. That one's gonna fall over. Ah, uh, man down. It's really sandy right here. So you just have these little set screws on the back and that controls the kind of side to side movement of it, so. Knock back in. Fresh paint. Good go. Go.
coolness. My turn. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. gentlemen there you go these individual plate hangers uh, they're working out really well the sand is the biggest issue right now so finding a place where you can really get it in there or pile some rocks up around it or something like that make sure that the post doesn't kind of want to fall over but all in all I really like these things kind of a game changer for the uh, the whole setup that we do out here in the desert gives us the options to do plate rack and to do individual steel um, we have the the paper target still and all of that but uh, yeah it's really going to enhance the practice game I think for us just coming out to the desert uh, to, to shoot kind of on our own really nice oh by the way side note here we yesterday cracked 400 subscribers on this channel path of life so huge thanks to all of you for being here tagging along on all of these these videos and here at 500 subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway so we're getting really close to the 500 subscriber mark here um i checked last uh when we were coming out and we were at 405 uh subscribers so thank you so much for all of the support for watching these videos again links to the portable plate rack in the description also links to these individual hangers down in the description as well so check those things out those are affiliate links they do help us out if you use those links if you're going to purchase these items and you and and you use those links if you find them cheaper somewhere else so go for it um all in all really impressed I like it my mom is uh, a, a super avid shooter as well <laughs> super avid yeah no not really <laughs> um but you shot them what do you I think did. i liked them i like i can tell exactly when you hit them yeah you don't have to wait to push the button for the thing you come back to find out that you <laughs> missed didn't get the bad guys anyway yeah, it's been a super fun time out here shooting in the desert again, and uh, we'll be back out soon. So thanks for watching. If you're not already, hit that subscribe link right up above us. Uh, we're going to do that giveaway at 500 subscribers. Also, check out some of our other videos. We really appreciate all the support. Until next time, take care of yourselves, everybody. Make it a great day. Safe shooting, and peace out.